Yo! Hey guys, it's my last and final episode of FTL that I will be doing. Uh, episode 8, uh, Mantis Ship. Are you turned on yet? I certainly am. And uh, just to uh, show you, we're going to do make this an extra special challenge run. My pause key is binded to the other side of the keyboard. I will be doing a no pause run. Which when you think about it, it is it is a bit of a artificial handicap that you put on yourself. But on the other hand, it kind of makes it uh, a little bit interesting because everything is very high pressure. You can't, you don't you have time to stop and think. You gotta just act, act, act. So. Uh, so we're doing the Mantis ship last, and uh, the first one here is uh, the Mantis ship A. Um, you get a lot of crew, um, some weapons. It is a boarding ship. You start with a teleporter and have a med bay here. That's pretty much it. Boring. Let's go to the cool one. Two crew members, four blocks of shields, four person teleporter bay. We're ready to go. Uh, so you do get a, a boarding drone on top of that, uh, which is cool, and two bo uh, boarding crew, obviously. If you want someone to drive the ship, then you're kind of fucked. Um, the Mantis Pheromones increases uh, crew's movement speed by uh, 25%, so not too bad. So we're going to call this the uh, the USS YouTube. Uh, 2009. Because I think that's when the layouts you still used to be cool. And, uh, of course, there's me on the ship. Not Macalat. All right, and the last person uh, who we're going to have with us on the ship is going to be you, the viewer. Oh, how cheesy! So there you are. You're you're a part of my crew, whoever you are. If you didn't get to be named a part of the ship yet, and so uh, that's basically it. We don't start with any weapons. Uh, we're very low on the shields, very low on the evade. So you know, evade isn't really that worth it, to be honest. So, I'm pressing space for it now. You see nothing's pausing. I can't. Uh, it's basically a very interesting challenge run. And so it is a boarding ship, kind of like, uh, oh, this guy uh, hails me and says, we're afraid of uh, uh, pirates. Can you score us? He'll give me two fuel for it. And so I say yes. And it's all the way over there. So we're going to go there last. We're going to look for some distress signals too, because I like those. Uh, there's a pirate ship pursuing a, a civilian ship. Let's go aid the civilian ship. All right. Uh, we're gonna power up that, uh, which is going to shoot down the missiles when they inevitably fire them at me. And there's also two engineers on this ship that are firing at me. My obsession with this ship, at least early on, is to find someone to actually drive the damn ship. Uh, and also find a competent boarding crew. Wow, you almost missed that, you dumb defense drone. And so we kill the pirate ship, and <laughs> just as they say that, uh, uh, Someone wants to join my crew uh, to be, uh, the, most of the crew wants to be dropped off near nearby station, one offers to join. Survivor joins my ship, it's an NG. He's gonna be driving. So let's go take these guys and put them on med bay. So I only start with 15 drones, so using the drones is sort of, um, I don't want to use them unless I absolutely have to. Uh, Cause they are kind of, we are kind of short on the drones. Okay, so there's a rebel scout nearby. Uh, uh, automated ship nearby, but and it's patrolling a long-range center station. Uh, center station. We are not equipped to deal with a drum, so we're going to beam directly onto it. And we, uh, uh, we, our map has been updated from the station. So here now we have the location of every single uh, enemy ship. So we're going to just try and formulate a. Pl uh, we're going to plot a path that takes us, hopefully, and gets us that quest too. Maybe that store would be nice, if I, if possible. Okay, so there's a forward scout of the Rebel fleet, and they're going to power up their engines. Um, I, I don't really like this because they may... Yeah, because that's the problem with them... The, the problem with uh, having someone here and them F charging their FTL drive is that they could jump away while all my teleporter is still charging. Uh, hopefully in this sector it's not powerful enough. And I still haven't delayed it yet. Wow, okay. Well, we're still ahead. It's not to the point of which uh, I would be really, really worried, but you know, still, I'm worried. Alright, let's go get this engineer in here as well. He deserves some healing too. So some good, nice things to. So, um, sorry. Uh, on the on the subject of boarding crews, so the best boarding crew you can possibly get is crystal people, obviously for their lockdown ability. The second best is actually rockmen for their uh, high health. They can 
they can outlast uh, mantises, which is kind of cool. I'm 90% I'm sure of this fact. And mantises are the third best, so we want to find some rock guys, maybe. As, but the mantises have very high speed, so you know it depends on what you're trying to do. So there's a rebel scout uh, on approach to a small refueling station. Their weapons have not charged yet. We'll, we'll go kill them. And they don't know who I am, and they're going to move in to engage. Well, uh, let's go teleport onto their ship. And they do have um, uh, a, a defense drone. This will shoot down my boarding drone. You know, just take that into account. Fortunately, they can actually get through my shields, and I teleported onto their ship anyway, so it's okay. Boarding sh the boarding drone is kind of useful for those harder ships, you know. That would be the time I'd use it. But right now, it's really there's no problem. So the crew's dead. We salvaged what we can, and they gave me the the fueling station gave me some resources out of it too. Uh, there's another distress beacon, so we're gonna actually wait for us to heal because there could be trouble there. We don't actually know, and I think it's actually worth my time to go and upgrade. It's only ten points to upgrade engines. You know, there's no point in not doing that. All right, I think these guys are ready. Me, me and you, viewer, me and you, bros for life. Oh god, it's a pirate ship and it was a trap. We unfortunately can't actually do anything, so we're gonna man shields and weapons. Uh, not met weapons, sorry, I have no weapons. Shields and engines. Just to ra raise my evades just slightly. I'm not actually concerned, I don't think his ion can actually fire fast enough to disable two blocks of shields. And that other laser will always get stopped, so we're just gonna pretty much wait for our FTL uh, drive to charge up. So we can leave this horrid place and never come back. And that's the plan. I, I like how like he's like stopping. He's like, eh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> one block of shields got disabled. I can't do anything. Yeah, look, look at this. We still have one block of shield. You should be at the. You should be at your computer, me. <laughs> oh well. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't do much there. Uh, we can go up, up, down, down. We wouldn't be able to make it to that store. But on the other hand, I don't think that really matters because I'm not. I don't think I'm really interested in that store. Anyways, we're here, and they want to trade uh, two missiles for some fuel. It's a merchant, uh, and uh, that's worthwhile because I'm not really into that kind of crap. Okay, down here, here, here. Wow, we have to go through that distress beacon. Yeah. Okay, we should be okay. The, the fleet shouldn't have arrived yet. Also, I should have waited for my shields to charge. There's an automated scout here, and we're going to actually, uh, we're not going to risk activating, we're going to strip the, we're going to uh, strip the ship for useful scrap, and that's it. Because it's, honestly, it is not worth it, especially since I, I would not be able to combat it. Just a matter of, like, who cares. Uh, there's a civilian ship that's under attack by space birds. Let's go aid them. Uh, oh, you guys need to be over here. They have a bomb here, so there's nothing I can really do to stop that. They also have a rock guy here. There's nothing I can do to stop that either. I'm almost, in I'm almost inclined to go and. Uh well, actually, now we should be okay because this guy's gonna help out in just a second. And they're okay. All right, we contact the civilian ship, and they made a fast retreat because they're a bunch of assholes. And luckily, they're very terrible with their uh, their bomb aim. And so I'm also gonna get now cameras level two, just because it makes it a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch, because you can see what's what's coming up on the ship and all that kind of crap. Uh, that was people like seeing that. So no pausing so far. Uh, it's I it's an interesting challenge, you know, because you never quite think about it, but you know it is. Pausing is a huge element of this game. Uh oh, there's a rebel ship here. Much short of dismay, it was right. It was a trap. All right, well, uh, let's go teleport onto the ship. Activate defense drone because we we foresee the use of the missiles here. Yeah, here they are. You fucking missed. Seriously? Like, like he's just like kind of like trying to do a 360 no scope or some shit, like. Dumbass. Alright. Well, that's it. We managed to take the fuel out of storage. And defense drones are absolutely retarded. We have learned today. 28 fuel is not uh, is not a bad number. Uh, let me tell you that right now. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. 
So for this first sector, it's really like nothing should ever threaten you really. And I say that uh, as I basically got hit by a missile, but you know, that's because the defense drone was being, being a derp. So this distress beacon coming from uh, a nearby boon. My, my sensors pick up a single life arm. Let's go down and investigate. It is the madman event and he's been here for years, but his mental state is questionable. We, he's not worth the risk. He, he sometimes will kill crew members. So we don't actually like that too much. And we've arrived at the long range beacon, and FTL, uh, when FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. However, there's a, a damaged uh, space station, and we detect faint life si signatures. I'm going to scrap deb debris. I think this event, you can possibly lose somebody, so it's not worth the risk. Because I have three crew members, so we got 20 scrap out of that. Not too shabby. Uh, we're going to go to the rebel controlled sector next. Because those dirty rebels, we gotta kill them. So, uh, they're very heavy handed in keeping the peace, apparently. Oh, okay. I, I thought, like, if you went here, you'd be screwed, but you sort of are still screwed if you go there. Alright, so I'm inclined to go over here first. And, uh, there's a rebel ship here. We were not prepared for it. Alright. And we're just gonna kill the bot because we hate bots. Oh, it looks like. Oh. Damn it. Well, we still have one engine, so we're okay. Uh, our engines have not shut down quite yet. It's not like it really matters. All they have is a missile weapon and a friggin' uh, beam drone. Like, what the hell are you planning on doing with that? I like how they keep wasting drones, and it's probably leveling my guys up. Okay, we got out of there. And there's no more useful materials, so whatever. I hate you too, ship. Alright, I'm glad I have an NG who can just repair stuff while my guys heal up. I feel like it, this is maximum efficiency. Also, I should really pay attention to when there's missiles, so I don't run into that problem again. I feel that I should probably upgrade something, uh, since I'm not near any kind of uh, uh, place where I could get um, a store, then I, I, I won't bother. So there's a station bustling with rebel activity. Supply freighters and resupply uh, stations are dwarfed by a few heavy uh, warships. Nobody's paying attention to us because we're a small cruiser. Yeah. So is that rebel flagship? That's like a... I don't even know what it is. Oh, and someone wants me to lead me to their destination. So th thanks for responding. Does he not know who I am? Whatever. I'm known throughout the galaxy as... Uh, whatever. Oh, he's right over there. So I guess we'll just go drop him off. Let's hope we can find a store. And so there's a small planet nearby with, uh, it's a recently liber liberated planet, apparently. Okay, another distress beacon here. Let's go check that out. Uh, oh, there, there's a guy who needs fuel, and, uh, we're gonna give him some. And he gives us a better map. And there's a store right down there. Let's see if we can maybe make it. Yes, yeah, so you can't. These two ships are such cock teases. You can't make it down there. Whatever. Let's go to the quest and then down, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, okay, they offered me a small reward for leading them to their destination. You're welcome very much. And there's a rebel ship waiting nearby. I'm doubly stationed to wait to wait for me. And it's we're in a nebula, so I can't actually uh, see what they have. Seems like a waste to be. Let's just go over here. Because I, I feel like I'm wasting my time by attacking uh, that drone. And and my mantises are now getting better at combat too. That's also kind of nice. Guess I could raise my evade. This guy will get better at evade. And we stripped the ship off of remaining useful materials and we're done. You know, I still have that one point to the med bay, uh, so I can go get maybe a teleporter, but I think I'm I'm jumping to a store next, so let's not bother with that right now. I also see these two things right here, and I'm actually going to be inclined to go into these. Even though they're they're technically going to be like asteroid fields and stuff, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. It's time to man up, you know? Alright, and there's generic advertisements, and they have a cloak. They also have crew members. I would like the crew members, though. Uh, cloak, better investment. I'll maybe get some crew members later. 
It, uh, like, they're just humans, they're not like combat crew members, so I'd literally just be putting him on evade and shit like that, so... Fuck it. Let's not do that. Oh, I can also power the cloak now. Alright, it's a rebel ship. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, automated scout and prepare for fight. Well, I'm not too concerned, now am I? Just let the asteroids do their work. Hey, there's a fire on your ship. And we can now cloak. I'll, might as well man the, all, all the shit. Actually, I was on shields before. And I'm, once again, I'm not. Uh-oh. No, an asteroid might get through. Except there's no asteroids. Oh, there we go. Now we can't dodge asteroids. Oh, oh, his weapons are going down. Oh, we're good. So we got some <laughs> even though we destroyed a ship, that's like the first ship we've ever destroyed. Uh, it's We got a substantial amount of useful scrap materials. Uh, let's see. So this is not a nebula, but this is. So let's go here. We should be able to make it here and then back. The plaza storm, despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout is waiting for me. Uh, let's see. Okay, boarding drone go. Uh, great. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really... Well, I gotta depower this and teleport over. Uh, this is not a good... This is not a good idea. I just realized this. Yeah, because they're, they're going to keep peeling in their med bay, so let's wait for this to power up and then get the fuck out of here. Dude, they're going to just keep healing. Like assholes. Alright. Uh-oh. O2 is hit. Uh, our FDL drive is almost charged, so once that's done, we'll get the hell out of here. Alright, and we're just gonna go hop straight to the exit. Uh oh. Oh, I, I can't move myself out. There we go. Uh, go heal, please. Uh, that's the problem. I started my jump when I was, like, dying, and I'm like, uh oh. I'm kind of fucked. But luckily, nobody, uh. Because you continue to lose health even though you're not there. But luckily, nobody, nobody was injured. It is a poor judgment to go attack that ship. I, I was hoping that the boarding drone would distract, because that's what I normally do. And allowing me to take over the med bay. But it takes a lot more time than that, and I, I don't have enough defenses against that. Uh, that, what, whatever he had. Uh, the, the, he had like three lasers, and I had no dodge or anything, because we were in that plasma storm, right? So, poor judgment on my part. My mistake. It happens. You can sue me. Whatever. Alright, we got that, and we can also now power the engines completely, um, so if I want to get anything else, I have to, uh, unpower, uh, I basically have to, would have to unpower engines to go get one of these drones, which is fine by me, for the time being. And so, the, uh, there's NG space, and Mantis has been threatening the NG homeworlds, which means we should maybe meet some Mantises. I, I, they're bros. Oh, there's a, uh, uh, senses indicate it, there's a storage vessel for military goods. And he's protecting it, so I'm going to cloak to access the cache. Cache. Kind of cache. And so, uh, we, uh, we evade him, and we also get the Hermes missile, because I'm still not actually capable of taking uh, him out. And so there's a, a really crappy missile. Uh, let's go up and then down, and then we'll go to the store, just to see if there's another event here. Oh god, there's an intruder on deck. And there's a young Mantis uh, fugitive who's offering to, uh, offer to serve in for my protection. I'm gonna side with him. Yes! Yeah. Oh, you guys are fucked now. Be onto to their shields. We're gonna just, uh, evade this. There we go. Now we have, like, a proper Mantis boarding crew. And <laughs> there's a prisoner that joins my crew? Oh, it's a filthy human. Get out of here. You can go do whatever over there you want. Always oh, humans ruining my my day. 
Whatever. I, I, I keep guys like that on, like, uh, well... I, I would want to actually be able to pull off the NG, uh, so that, like, I can repair stuff. So evade is not as important as actually steering. So that's actually more worthwhile, at least to me. Alright, let's see what's at the fancy store here. Uh, some other crappy crew members. I'm not going to use this missile weapon. Um, there's a heavy laser here, which I can use, which I can power at my own discretion. So I think I'll do that. I'm going to also buy some fuel, and then we're going to call it up. Because that's, that's pretty much all I want from this. Wouldn't mind getting another point in that, that teleporter bay or something. So now I have at least one weapon, so now I can take down Zoltan shields or whatever the hell I want. And this guy wants an escort. Can you, can I, can you escort us? Yes, I can. Okay. We're for two fuel, that's a good deal for me. Alright, so we're going to go to Distress Beacon here, and then we're going to head down. And shall we investigate... There's a, a ship without life, for, uh, life forms. Yeah, that... Uh, it's in a dense asteroid field, should we investigate? Okay, let's search for a ship. And we have to pull out because we took a bit of damage. How unfortunate. Okay, we're at the store again. Uh, and they got an ion bomb. Oh shit, I need, I need that. 35, I may not get another chance for that. Okay, we're selling this, and we're also gonna sell boarding drone. We need the ion bomb. I may not get another ion bomb, and that's that will disable fucking anything. It's it's absolutely wonderful. So I can win this game with these two weapons. And that was an anti-personnel drone. And okay, that works for me. Uh, I wouldn't mind replacing the boarding drone. Well, actually, I don't really need it now that I have the ion bomb. So fuck it. Uh, so let's see. There's Mon Mantis Comshatter agreed. Your next ship is. Uh, the the next ship is your turn. So I can cloak to stay hidden, or I can attack his ship. Okay, well, we're boarding you. Okay. If you don't mind, but we want to pillage and your ship and all that. And we're going to dodge all the crap you just shot at us, so you feel really bad. As a prisoner that offers to join my crew, it's another fucking human, so he'll go on shields. I have a real, like, like, xeno. Uh, is it called, like, xenophobia? Like, I have a real distaste for human beings. I hate I hate people. I I I totally into. I, I would want to I would want to have like a mantis as a bro over a human. I'd be like, hey, and you'd be all like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what mantises are like. They seem kind of cool though. And so there's um an asshole here who wants me to pay a toll, and so I'm gonna say no. And then it's apparently just a Zoltan and an engineer, uh, an NG, the. And I'm gonna apparently regret that decision. Okay, well, let me go beam directly into your shield bay. And now you will feel bad. I'm just gonna let them kind of get some level ups, and then I'm gonna do this. There we go, there's no crew to stop me. I install the breach bomb on my own, which is actually a pretty good weapon, uh, which I will be keeping, because uh, this is a, it does three damage and creates a hull breach, and I can target my own ship. And it does three damage to systems. So I can take down any three bar system I want. And you can think of like something like the med bay or something on the on the rebel flagship. I was actually thinking of the ion bomb, but the fucking breach bomb? That's a hundred times better. I'll keep that guy around. Okay, let's actually go to the quest area. And uh, after I soon have to ride the ship, uh, uh, he gives me a small reward and that's it. Okay, well he's gone. Well, we need to go two more to get down to the exit here. And it's an NG space station who are trying to stay... Who are staying put despite the likelihood of Mantis invasion. And they give me some experimental technology. Fortunately, next uh, sector here, we're going to... Uh, we're going to run into a, a flagship. Um, so let's power up... Uh, power up the ion bomb, I was going to say. Uh, because... Potentially, I could kill him. Yeah. Uh, I may survive long enough to get to the next sector. Okay, let's get some guys over here. So we're gonna... You know, it's really not... It's honestly, it's this is not worth it. Fuck this. 
It, it, this is not worth my time. It really is not. Like, it's just like... Uh, uh, it's one fuel worth it, guys. Think about it. Uh, uh, search your heart. I know the answer is there. Whatever. Alright, let's go to the next sector. And we have a slug controlled nebula, unfortunately. No, no options here. And uh, the slugs are developed on an ocean planet where uh, they have the ability to telepathically sense other organisms. That's kind of cool. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. And uh, I guess that will continue our, our nice boarding run. Thank you, viewer, for being the greatest bro ever. And uh, really, you're better at combat than I am. Take that as you will. See you later.